So, <laughs> the Taylor Swift situation is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, it's not that we don't. It's good publicity for the NFL because it's an actual celebrity that likes an athlete. And it's like, it's kind of the same thing as if a popular girl likes a jock in high school. And the, and the player that's on the football team is winning. So then they go to school and there's the popular girl. Then they're, oh, it's so cute. And we, we root for them and then we hope they work. They work and stuff. In reality, everyone just hates them. <laughs> like, everyone just really, really hates them being together because they're so, uh, they're just so, no one cares <laughs> about this, this, no one cares. Sorry, I don't, I don't make the rules. There's been a lot of weird aspects to come out of this since they started dating like for instance that the chiefs have been eh. <laughs> you lost the first game of the season hyper extended knee okay doing this that a third then there were rumors that travis kelsey and taylor swift were dating weird that that would just happen then since then they haven't really had a great game since, since they started dating. Has, has anyone noticed the Chiefs are playing so-so? The games have been kind of close. Or sloppy? I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. Last night was the prime example of NFL and NBC working together to force the refs to have the Chiefs win that game because what was that? <laughs> there were crazy holding calls. Patrick Mahomes was throwing interception after interception after interception. And the refs just were like, screw it. We can't have Taylor Swift see a loss from the Chiefs on prime time. So they just so the NFL and NBC especially work together and we're just like, nah, the Chiefs gotta win this game. <laughs> Chiefs gotta win this. Crazy holding call at the end. Robert Sala snapping off. Hey. <laughs> Again, to the Taylor Swift fans thinking immediately, oh my god, these NFL fans don't like us. We don't like the crazy media attention that she's getting. They are going to milk that cow for every drop. <laughs> we don't like her constantly being on the screen. And Travis Kel like Travis Kelsey didn't even have a touchdown last night. And they kept showing Taylor Swift. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing this for? Why why are sports media personalities reporting that Taylor Swift's going to be at the game? What are you doing this for? There's no reason for this. <laughs> There's no reason for this. <laughs> it's like, okay, they're doing the couple thing. They're walking together. Okay, that's fine. All right. Like, social media can report on that. That's fine. Regular news can report on Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift dating. But sports media? No. That's not your job. <laughs> your job is to report on the game. <laughs> you report on the games. <laughs> you don't report on Taylor Swift. You don't keep showing Taylor Swift and then think that, oh, Travis to Kelsey, look, they're dating like, because fans are going to get upset and, th and think immediately they should not be together. It's a distraction. And especially to like, it's not even me because I'm not a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> but they're going to root for them to 
if Travis Kelsey loses, say, in the playoffs, the fan base of the Kansas City Chiefs are going to blame the Swifties for being so distracting to their football team. <laughs> so, yeah, not a good look. Sorry, that's not that's not a good look. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you about that, but that's not a good look. Um, there's only one thing. I I guess you just shake it off. I guess <laughs> sports logic. 